black holes or why people search on P-Hub, but also what astrophysicists search for in outer space. For us, it's a region of space-time where really cool things happen. There have been many ideas over the centuries resembling the modern black hole, but it was first mathematically conceived in 1916 from the general theory of relativity by a man whose controversial last name rivals that of Arnold Schwarzenegger, namely Karl Schwarzschild. As I'm sure you've heard before, the gravitational pull from a black hole is so strong that not even light can escape. The bo boundary beyond which this is true is called the event horizon, and when you pass it, there is only one future path you can follow into certain death and singularity. But what does it say? What does it mean? Let's find out. How do you measure the radius of a black hole? Please. Uh, he didn't seem to know anything at all. That's, uh, that's a bummer. Uh, uh, anyways, there are different types of black holes, which depends on their mass and their Schwarzschild radius. That's the answer he should have given. These types range from supermassive, intermediate mass, stellar mass, and micro mass. <laughs> if you don't know anything about physics and look at this search history, I would uh, not be far from jail. Anyways, uh, this year's Nobel Prize partly awarded a team who proved we have a supermassive black hole in the center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, which is pretty damn cool if you ask me. When a star has a mass greater than the Chandrasekhar limit, about 1.4 solar masses, and it reaches the end of its life, nothing can stop the gravitational collapse. This either results in a neutron star, a black hole, or something exotic we have yet to find. The first picture of a black hole came in 2018, and if you've looked at it, you see a bright disk circling around it. What's that? Well, what that is, is my favorite part of a black hole, the accretion disk. Our human intuition will probably tell you that a really, really big star is the brightest thing in the universe. And your intuition wouldn't be terrible, but as often happens in the case of physics, intuition is a scam. If there is a god, he must have felt very philosophical when he literally made the darkest object in the universe be responsible for the absolute brightest, a quasar. A quasar is an accretion disk around a supermassive black hole in the galactic nucleus, the center of our galaxy. PSO J352 is a quasar located 13 billion light years away, and it's the brightest object ever found in the universe so far. What makes them so bright? Well, we're gonna go have to go back to the most famous equation of all time. E equals mc squared. A cat maybe weighs uh, a few kilograms, and we can all agree they don't give out a lot of energy. It's not sustainable, and we can't really recycle them unless you're a complete Frankenstein sociopath. It just doesn't work. Yet, the energy in the mass of the cat could supply Norway's energy output for an entire year. The caveat is this, though. We really have no good way of extracting that energy. I wish we could. I really don't like cats. Currently our best way is at nuclear plants, but there, is, but there we only extract a really really small fraction of the energy, and only in dangerous radioactive material. But imagine this, we have a really 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 strong gravitational field smashing objects into their constituent atoms and extracting that energy really efficiently. And then we throw trillions, of quadrillions, of septillions of tons of matter into that gravitational field. Imagine how much energy we could get. Oh, that would be crazy. Well, the thing is, you don't have to imagine, because this is exactly what happens in the cases with quasars. They radiate so much energy in electromagnetic waves that they become brighter than the biggest and most powerful stars in the universe. If that will not blow you away, I'm not sure anything can. As a wise man said, yes, I am big fighter and molten core raid in World of Warcraft. Don't forget to like, hit the bell, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace.